the earth of Western Turkey gives up its survivors slowly. This morning, rescuers saved a few miners from the fire below. It began when a power unit exploded deep underground. For the past 24 hours, we've been waiting, hopefully, to get our friends out alive. That's all that we wish. At night, rescuers found the first bodies. Many of these miners choked on carbon monoxide. More than a hundred of their fellow workers may still be trapped. Uzule's husband, Mehmet, is underground. God help us, she cries. She's joined dozens of miners' families on the grounds of Soma's hospital. Here, they wait. <laughs> My son was two months from retirement, Murvet tells me. He'd planned to come back home and settle. This family is waiting for news of 26-year-old Ur. His mother holds his young son. Is he alive or dead? That's all I want to know. We need one piece of hope. For these family members, this has become a vigil. They're desperate to find out what's happened to the miners still trapped underground. And there's nowhere else for them to go. Rescue teams continue to look for the lost miners using all the technology they can find. But they've yet to break through. The mine's owners insist that it passed all of its safety checks. Words which will mean little to those inspecting this overnight too. James Reynolds, BBC News, Soma.